A couple of the new alphabets with Design Shop version 11 are Puff. They're designed for using that three-dimensional foam to create that three-dimensional look. When you sew them out, they have end caps so the needle penetrations go all the way around the letter so that you can peel off that foam. But there's a couple of settings that need to be changed in order for them to sew well and have those needle penetrations cut cleanly through the foam. If I go into my lettering tool, I begin to type on screen. Puff alphabet and I'm going into my alphabet and I choose one of the puff ones. Let's choose industry. And now if I look, I've got end caps. And what that allows is it, it puts on the outside of the shape needle penetrations all the way around the form, which creates a cleaner cut when using that 3D foam. Now, with this, you'll also notice I've got some underlay. I've got maybe a lighter density than I want. So the puff alphabets are digitized for foam and for use to create that three-dimensional look, but you'll still need to adjust the settings. So the settings that are applied are just the defaults, which are good for kind of everyday embroidery, and it's, it's kind of an average of what's going to work well across most materials, but when you get to specialty materials like 3D foam, you're going to need to adjust those properties. So you can right click and go to properties and you can go into top stitching and you can change your density, you can change your underlay, you can change that to all of what you prefer for doing for foam or you can go to styles and select the style for puff alphabets and apply it to that selection and it will automatically adjust the density, the underlay, the tie stitches, the pull, and now you're ready to start sewing with some foam. So it adjusts that density so the needle penetrations are closer together. It's going to cut that foam a little bit more cleanly. You've got larger, more aggressive tie stitches. You've got less underlay so that it's not smashing the foam before you get that satin stitch over it. So when you select a puff alphabet, all the shapes are there, the needle penetrations are where they need to be, they may not be as close as they need to be together to cleanly cut that foam, so you will still need to adjust your properties. And whether you do that yourself with your own preferences or you apply that puff style to that alphabet, the, that selection, that lettering element, uh, that's totally up to you. Just remember that you really do need to go in and do that so that your needle penetrations will be close enough, you're not smashing down that foam, and you get a much nicer sew out.